Hello to all of my awesome YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning today's awesome vlog. Guys, what I'm doing today, I have been looking up some different gigabyte motherboards of upgrading in the future of my 2017 desktop computer I built in 2018. I basically want a different motherboard. I want your opinions. Would this motherboard fit in this course or case? Uh, basically, it's the N200 uh, case. Uh, basically, let me bring it up where you can kind of see. Here it is. The big beast of the machine here. This is somewhat my editing machine, but I want to replace the motherboard inside of this computer uh, basically but maybe in the future not down the road but i want your opinions to see if it'll be a good idea to fit in this case because i really truly don't want to upgrade this case right now because it's still a good case uh, basically but what type of motherboard i'm looking at basically it's not a gaming motherboard or anything like that it's just a non gigabyte board for the 8th generation uh, Intel i7 processors, I think. That's what it is. But let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about and what I'm thinking of upgrading in the future of this system. Let's have some fun. Uh, Chris, why do you want to upgrade your gigabyte motherboard in your brand new desktop computer you just put together in 2018? But I am looking at this newer board because it has a little bit more bells and whistles than my 2017 motherboard doesn't have. The one thing I wish it had was the USB Type-C uh, connection. This newer board actually does. But it's a 2018. Basically, I'm looking at upgrading this motherboard in the future with the newer HN processors. But let's go ahead show you what I mean but here is my rig I built not too long ago basically it's a editing machine and it works just fine but there is the gigabyte motherboard that's the 2017 uh, board this is all on your old machine but if you kind of see back here it doesn't have any of the USB Type-C connection. It has USB 2, USB 3s, and not too bad for a 2017 motherboard. But basically, here was my laptop. Gonna look up the model. Right ahead, right now. And let's look at uh, this one. I'm thinking about going with this one. What do you think, tubes? You like it? I sure do. But here's the picture. Let me uh, kind of open it for you can kind of see. There's a Type C port. Bagels can't be choosers. You choose what you can use in any of your rigs. You decide the build. But the reason why I like this 2018 motherboard, it has a lot more bells and whistles than my 2017 motherboard does not have. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. It's gonna be freaking awesome. All right? All right. But well, basically, here's our thing on my computer desk. Of course, my laptop and my desktop computer. But yeah, this machine here is one heck of a machine. But the motherboard would like to upgrade. That's gonna be awesome. Well, basically, here is the reason why I wanna upgrade to a new motherboard just going to show you all the different uh, stuff here you can kind of see all the different things this gigabyte motherboard can offer uh, basically look at that look how many thin headers it has that's crazy that's awesome And here's the different uh, pumps and all and things it can also use too. But 
one thing I like the LED lights that's kind of nice dual bios that's kind of cool there you go let's go here some things I like about this board Definitely on connections. That's awesome. Hey Chris, how much is this motherboard? If you're curious on the price, about a hundred dollars. Not too bad. That's something I can afford in my budget. That's awesome. But please show us what the pictures look like of this motherboard and the reason why you want to upgrade your 2017's motherboard with this new one. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. But basically the other thing on my disc, basically my towel and my laptop. Alright, here you are. Here is the Gigabyte Intel motherboard. I really like the design. It looks fantastic, should I say. Okay, it has the system fan handle. It also has the 8-pin Molex. Uh, CPU fan handle. That's awesome. Again, it has the 4 DDR memory slots, the 24 pin Molex connector, a non system fan header, of course, the SATA ports, two USB 3 headers for front panel, that's kind of nice. Of course, there are some of the Owen stuff, SATA, your dual BIOS. Again, your different types of connectors for your front connectors. A system fan handle right there. A USB 1, USB 2, LD Type C, and different on connectors. Front audio. Well, it's also nice. It has two uh, M.2 slots. Very nice. And these own PCI slots. Pretty awesome. What do you think, tubes? What do you think about that motherboard? To go in that rig over there. This is the reason why I like doing my videos for not just for me, but for all my awesome viewers. But what do you think about this brand new motherboard? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Give me your honest feedback because that would be also something be also awesome as well. But I am trying to make better videos, better content, and everything else. By the way, I understand a lot of you out there think you need a gaming motherboard would be the best uh, solution. Hey, that's all up to you. But by the way, I'm not a video gamer. I make videos. I edit. I do own things with photos and music and stuff like that. I don't always got time to play video games. If you want to play video games, get a console or get a gaming computer that's all up to you but the question is should I buy this board in the future to upgrade this machine right here nice plate this is the rig I built in 2018 but I bought all the components in 2017 this is a very nice system now, it doesn't matter what processor I use, I can use the Pentium, the i3, the i5, or even the i7 or the i9. It all depends on what your budget allows you to do. But this is one heck of a machine I built, uh, should I say. But I really want your feedback of that brand new motherboard. What do you like about it? What do you don't like about it? That would be something awesome. Alright, you guys and girls that are supporting this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please show. Peace out. Probably see you in the future vlog. Alright, have a nice day, fans.